Hi, I'm Robert Ranieri, and you're looking at a painting that is called Thermae Caracalae. That's the Latin meaning Caracalas baths, baths. And it should be noted that uh, this, the remains of this architecture is uh, in Rome, Italy, and Caracalla was uh, not well liked. He was a kind of uh, little, but I say brutal perhaps, but he was determined to do uh, his, his duty in a way to have great buildings built while he was emperor. And uh, I think, by, by the way, because of bathhouses are everywhere that, where the Romans went during the empire, the soldiers, the centurions, they always built a bathhouse. They were very clean <laughs> before, I guess, and after their combat. And I must say that the baths themselves were of great influence for a number of architects. And as a matter of fact, there's a portion of the Metropolitan Museum in New York. It's one of the major hallways. It actually is an imitation or a copy of a portion of the baths of Caracalla, which were, which have survived. There's still a ruin there, and a number of their large forms still exist. And this would have been by McKim, Mead, and uh, White, McKim, McKim, and Mead, the three architects working in New York, which were, which were really interested in the classical revival of these, these particular forms, and obviously very important for their repertoire of designs. And you'll see here, there's a progression from either top to bottom or bottom to top, the forms that are so let's say you might think, well, this is closer because it's down here and uh, you're going to do stepping stones back up. But in, in effect, though, when you're working in a rather flattened modernist venue, you have the, the foreground pushed back so that the intermediate or background is brought up and is like a crowning arcing over. So. This whole section, it's like a big question mark, you can say, where you have the interconnecting of these arcing forms built on a vertical idea, like a, a, an exclamation mark, and with uh, certain value changes that occur. And the blue here, which is, let's say, a slot, whether it's running water or it's a, a, uh, a blank view of a pool, as with baths, they have warm, cool, and tepid, uh, pools of water for bathers. And then it reoccurs here with a kind of resounding dominant arcing form suggesting the ribs of the construction that uh, holds the dome together. And then as a secondary opportunity, the eye will recognize this blue-green form which is hovering or bouncing above these horizontal strokes. And what is apparent here is that there's a certain rate of speed that one will denote. For example, these strokes here, they're done with one larger brush and then, say, triangulated down here. And certain forms require a more hesitant and careful, say, manipulation of the brush itself to get straight edges done very carefully. The little darker note, which is, uh, could be a more distant arcing or a tunnel form or doorway. So you have various changes in scale. Obviously, this little dot is much smaller than the progressive and expanding effect of these larger vaulting systems. And whether you feel warm and cool or wet or dry, though it is a bath such a site setting and the site is uh, peculiar in that regard, it's really the interlocking of these abstract forms and the, the way the color occurs and built in warm and cool zones that becomes part of the major impetus of the work. And there are more of them around, so we'll show you more later. Thank you.